Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to make system messages. In order to create system messages, you'll need the administer library system messages permission under local enrichment in the administration roles section. So to get started, you'll want to be in Aspen administration. So on the left, you'll see the admin menu, go to local catalog enrichment and click on system messages. So here we are, you click add new. First, you'll give it a title. In this box, you can type your message. So you can simply put in some text. There's lots of different options for formatting and adding links. We've also seen libraries just use this to upload an image and link that image to another page. For example, some libraries just uploaded a banner image as a system message and link that to a summer learning uh, program registration page. So there's all kinds of options for system messages. I'm going to paste in the text that I want to show here. So if you want to increase the size, you can highlight it, change the size here or by the font size. Oop, that's a little too big. And let's say I want this second line here to link to a page that has more information about this closing that's coming up. So if I highlight the text I want linked, I can click the insert edit link, type in the URL and hit OK. And now I have a hyperlink here. Next, you get to decide what page your system message shows on. By default, it's all pages. So that's all pages of the catalog, whether users are signed in or not. Um, and system messages on all pages will show up at the top of the screen. However, you do have options for other pages. So you can have a system message just showing on all account pages when users are signed in, or just the checkouts page, the holds page, the finds page, or the contact information page. And these other system messages that are more targeted, those do not appear at the top of the page. They appear further down closer to the account information that's relevant. Next, choose the message style. These different options correspond to the background colors of your system message. And system messages can be targeted with custom CSS in your theme settings. So if you really don't like any of these color options or want to make your system message even fancier, you can customize them with CSS in your theme settings. I'm going to pick, hmm, let's pick blue. Next, you can choose a start or an end date for your system message. If you leave these blank, the message will just show indefinitely. If your system message is promoting an event or something that's going to come and go, like say you're going to be closed a few days for an all staff training, or there's a holiday or something else, it's nice to use the start and end date so that you can just kind of set it and forget it. Next, you can choose whether the system message is dismissible. This means that when users are logged into their accounts, there will be an option to close out the system message and they won't see it again. So if a user is logged in, they would be able to see the option and Aspen would remember that they closed it and it would never show up for them again. Next, you'll want to select the libraries that this should apply to as well as the locations. So I'm selecting everything and I'm going to save my changes. And now I see my system message here at the top of the screen. Of course, if you decide that you no longer want this system message, you can just come here and unselect all the locations and libraries. Doing this will effectively put your system message in a draft mode. And if you want to delete it entirely, scroll up to the top of the system message you're editing and click the delete button. Thanks for watching. Did you come up with a great use for system messages? Let us know. We'd love to see your examples.